Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Berry Mountain Homestead. I'm Tony, this is Michelle, and today we are just gonna do a little sit down. Yeah, we haven't done a Berry Mountain, like sit down and chat with us, sit down in so long. Um, so we figured we would do it today. And we're getting to sit outside today because it is a beautiful, what, 70 degrees out. So we're enjoying the beautiful weather to sit down with you guys. I would say our biggest update to talk to you guys about today is that we closed on our mortgage. Yes, we did. Finally. <laughs> it was a long process, very long process, um, which I would love to do a sit down video and just share with you like start to finish of getting the home, getting a manufactured home, touring, the whole deal. Um, that could be a whole other video. But just this process, even just getting the mortgage was a long one. But yeah, done. it took quite some time. It was like two months total, I think. Since applying. Since applying. Say, yeah. mm -hmm. And they say the average is 30 days, but manufactured home makes it take longer. Everything makes it take longer. And with our land, it took longer. They had to get it appraised and um, get like, you know, the, the all the people involved to do their estimates and, and all the paperwork that goes with that. So, um, yeah. But it's much faster if you're just buying a house that's I already there. I, that's from what I've heard, yeah. And then on closing on the mortgage and just like the back and forth and everything last minute kind of stuff that happens with that it was stressful Crazy. but so we're very glad it's done we closed in our mortgage and now we can kind of just wait <laughs> sit back and wait for stuff to get built yes um so our timeline is the other thing we want to talk to you about and tell you everything always gets pushed back nothing ever happens sooner than it's expected <laughs> especially with COVID and everything, I feel like it's also pushed things back. Luckily, we put the order in for our home and did all of that kind of stuff just in time because what we're hearing now is if, if people are going out and getting land, which they are, right now a lot of people are doing that, they're getting land, they're not buying, there's no houses on the market to buy, and then they're going to these modular manufactured homes as options. So not only are they back ordered because of that, well not back ordered, but like, what would you call it? Their lead time for order to getting it delivered is yeah. the last they told us when we were there, they said the people that are ordering today aren't getting it until February of 2022. 22. There's over well over a year. It's crazy. Pre-COVID they were, I think they were 16 weeks out. So normally four months normally. Yeah. And it's a combo. It's a combo, I think, of the demand. They're also having a hard time getting supplies, getting, you know, because lumber prices are crazy right now. Because they buy everything from overseas. Oh. And things aren't getting delivered on schedule and businesses are closed and ports are closed right. and it's just messing everything up. And then the other concern too with a timeline is they can say, this is the time that we think your house is going to be ready, but, um, who knows what's going to happen so like it's hard to plan we originally said oh we'll, we'll hopefully be in by christmas that's not the case anymore no. best case scenario they're saying and we're figuring what hopefully. january late january it's supposed to be done after the first week of january so probably around the second week ish then they but drive then it here to be delivered, delivered and set and they have to do all the trim and finish and join here, join everything up join everything together and then our electrician has to come out and hook up the new ppl pole to it yeah and then permits right they don't they have to approve everything everything has to be approved and what do they do they do like a walkthrough first and okay. then approve everything and the plumbers have to come out and hook every hook the septic up and the water from the well so <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit i think our new thought is late january best case early February, best case. I'm like, shoot, if, if it's Valentine's spring Day. and we're still not in the house, I don't know, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll get done, we have 10 months per the construction loan. I'm just really glad that we done. didn't take the skirting off of the RV like I wanted to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and Tony said, no, we have to leave it. But you know, it's like an eyesore. And I was like, oh, well we could take it off for the summer months, the spring. Too much work. Uh, there's no way we'll be still in it in winter. We are. Whole winter, probably. Whole, another Christmas in it, yeah. But it's fine. We're pros now, I feel like. There's just, there's also so many things we were talking about the other day of things that we say now that we will never say again. That's true. Do you remember some of the ones we were saying? Hey, don't turn that on right now or we'll blow a fuse. Like you can't have the microwave on right now, you'll blow a fuse. 
Um, turn off the dehumidifier so we can vacuum. Yeah, turn on the dehumidifier because it's like all the windows are fogging up. You can only get a 10 minute shower. <laughs> I'll get a shower 15 minutes after you set the water here. It's time to heat up. And then if you're doing, like if you're running the water while someone's in the shower, you'd be like, hey, you're using the water. Like turn the water off. Our shower will never fill up again because our tanks are full yep. <laughs> while you're taking a shower. There's just so much that once we get into the house, I think we're going to appreciate um, just like simple life things that you would never think of appreciating that now that we've been in the RV for, it's actually, this is going to be a year coming up, a whole year. November is a year and it is November. So. Yeah, yeah, it's been a year. So there's so much that we appreciate now. Um, like I said, daily little things that you would never think of that we're going to be like, oh my gosh, thank goodness for this and this and this, the little things in our life once we're in the house. It's going to be great. Okay, so transitioning now into gardening and all of that, because you guys followed us through our whole garden this season, um, from start to finish, from doing the winter sowing to planting to harvesting. And we've been pulling now, pulling everything out. Um, it's a warm spell today. It's like I said, it's 70, but it's been very cold. We've had frost, and so... We're we did have a frost. Yeah, so we're pretty much into just fall crops now. The Brussels sprouts are still chugging along the because they take all year. Uh, I'm kind of worried about them, though, a little bit. Yeah, the Brussels sprouts are, they got beat up by some insects, and they started producing a little too early into the year. I think if we ever do them again, we should probably push it back a little. They don't need to be as tall. I think yeah. they can be shorter and start producing Brussels sprouts in the colder weather instead of the heat of the summer. We have the kale uh, that I believe I filmed planting. I think so. Kale yeah. and broccoli. Broccoli should be good because, like I said before, this is the, the fall. We always get better in the fall. Spring's real hard for brassicas. Yes. Today we're harvesting, fingers crossed at least, because uh, you never know, we're harvesting sweet potatoes. So yeah, we'll see what we get. If I film <laughs> harvesting sweet potatoes, I will show some. Uh, but if not, We'll probably put it on our Instagram, mm -hmm. berrymountain.homestead, and you guys can check it out there. Yeah. That's all we really have for fall crops. We tend to get burned out right now with both of us working full time and living in an RV and all the stuff that comes along with living in an well, RV. Plus getting the house going and the mortgage, yeah. It's just a lot of stuff. So we generally, at least now, kind of take a little relaxed fall gardening. Yeah. I, I mean... To going back to school, I've said this before, but that's tough for us at this yeah. time. So like the fall hasn't always been like a big garden season for us, maybe in the future. Um, Way busier than the summer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe in the future, you know, depending on what work looks like and stuff like that, we'll get more into it. But at least for this year, we have enough going on. <laughs> so since we are still in the RV, you know, we can't do a lot of the things we wish we could, like have meat chickens and, and ways to get food sources of our own. And so Tony has been starting to get into hunting more, which we are very excited about. Yeah, my first time going hunting. I've gone turkey hunting a couple times. Turkey hunting is very hard, by the way, for anyone who's <laughs> never done it. But I did go pheasant hunting for the first time the other day mm -hmm. and you actually I actually got two pheasants which is the limit so that's as many as you can keep per day in Pennsylvania and they're in our crock pot yeah we right we started them this morning we're making a it's like a pheasant stew mm -hmm. I saw a lot of people do a pheasant stew with like a with like a mushroom based sauce like a cream of mushroom mm -hmm. sauce and some carrots and stuff like that and it's more of like a creamy stew it's not really like a yeah. like a with red meat, you would do, you know, like a red sauce. Like a beef broth. Like a beef broth. This is creamy. This is creamy for a lighter poultry. And we're going to put it over egg noodles. Yep, some, over some egg noodles. It should be good. We'll let you know if it is. Because yes. it should be a pretty good recipe. And then he's also building um, a tree stand up on our property, which will stay then Way up there. when, you know, we move and everything. So That's for the future. What's for the future? The tree stand. Oh, yes, but building it is happening yeah. now, yeah. And you kind, did you, you kind of designed that yourself or no? I just, it's a ladder stand. It's probably 10 feet off the ground. Yeah. Which is fine because it's only 100 yards across, so you can't shoot that far. I'm hoping to finish the tree stand today. It's almost done. I've been working on it slowly after work yeah. for like an hour or two a day. Uh, we have no daylight anymore, though. It gets dark very early now <laughs> in the mountains after daylight savings. Mm -hmm. 
but it should be done today and hopefully it is because deer season opens up at least for rifle in the day after thanksgiving yeah what's that that's it's only a couple of weeks away yeah so i need to finish it up quick <laughs> yeah you do yeah. <laughs> on the trail cam we got a beautiful 10 point buck walking through our property big guy big guy yeah right literally i have the the trail cam right next to my tree stand yeah it's right in front of it i'm like i hope there is a chicken yards. just sorry to interrupt you but there's just a chicken hi chicky like its destination is right at, at it's us gonna come up it's, here. it's definitely coming up <laughs> hi you gonna come hang out hi you gonna go underneath are you under or are you coming up oh here comes another one these chickens are crazy friendly get red star chickens or red sex like chickens they're amazing. Super friendly. They're all under the table. Let you pick them up. You coming up or what? Um, oh, here comes another one. There's a bunch of chickens underneath us under the picnic table right now. You can probably hear them. Oh, you got one. Hi. <laughs> Hi, pretty girl. They like to be petted. Boop. Not great flyers though. They're kind of awkward when they fly. Yeah. So that's really all we have for right now. Just a quick little update on our lives and what's going on with everything. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys are doing well and are staying healthy. And thank you as always for watching our videos and supporting us. And we'll be sure to check in with you guys soon. We'll catch you guys in our next video. Bye.